Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Dotterbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits and other do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Vogertime VT09. This is a do-it-yourself mini piano kit. Yep, you can barely make it out there, but it is what it is. I found this on Amazon for $23. That'd be a great kit to showcase on my channel. Really good practice for soldering techniques. So when you go to build your portable radios, you'll be ready and armed. And plus, when you're done with this kit, it can make a great gift. And it looks like a really cool music creation tool. So let's check it out. Mini piano kit. You can kind of see it there. They probably should have used like a silver print on here. It says fun project, fun times. Or time. <laughs> There's model number BT09. Let's open it up. Presentation of the packaging is really nice. Um, you don't see this in a lot of the kits. Nice color manual. We have the parts all laid out in trays here. Nice. The first time I've opened this up, so it's all a big surprise. Box is empty. I'm going to put this aside. Let's look at the manual real quick, and then we'll look at the parts and see what we got there. The manual is really nice. Um, in the manual, they state that uh, if you give them uh, information, like if you just send them your email, they'll send you a PDF file. Uh, really nice. A little bit more in-depth than these directions. These are pretty good. Um, like I say, most companies don't even give you directions. you got to figure it out. But there's a picture of the product when you're done. Pretty awesome. Um, it has, I believe, eight instruments and uh, has four percussion sounds. It has the ability to record and play back. That was pretty neat. I'm not sure how much it stores, but I'm guessing fairly minimal. But those look like a fun kit. Uh, let's see. i got principal overview. Talking about the uh, chips that are on board. That's a nice thing. I think you... The main, the biggest or sorry, smallest chip is probably going to be like a resistor. There's no ICs to solder. I think they're pre-soldered. We'll check that out. And then there's that PDF support there. Pretty cool. They will answer your email right away. They're really good people. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so let's get this on camera here. We have components list. You can kind of look down there in case I missed something. There, talk about the ICs. We get the resistors. Some capacitors, uh, a diode, a I think a okay regular diode LED, and then the tactile switches. If you look, there's quite a few of them. I don't know what that adds up to. Forty switches total. <laughs> there's quite a few switches on this thing. Um, there's 12, 12, 15. There's one more. There you go. The toggle on off switch. Speaker, pretty cool. So there you go. And it runs on three AA batteries, so you can go portable with it. Yeah. Okay, here's your schematic, if you can make sense of all that. <laughs> all your switches. Okay, for note control. Uh, they have a nice, look at that, uh, picture value representation. You can look at the picture and know what you're grabbing and what should be in the box. Nice. And then over here we have this key instructions, how to operate the piano when it's finished. If I can get that on camera. All right. I'd like to spend a little time on the manual because it's well done. Um, step by step. Well, I guess I probably should go through this. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. It makes it easier for me to show you. So step by step here. Okay, so step one. There you go. Looks like we're going to put in some resistors in first. And over here we put some LED in. Okay, I'm going fairly quickly here. I don't want to get to opening it up. Uh, putting some more switches in. Okay, they're putting the keys. The switches for the keys, awesome. Over here, mounting the speaker. It's kind of nice. They got retention screws and clips. I like to see that. Very nice. There's the IC surface mount. Looks like an audio amp right there. Um, already pre soldered to the board, I believe. That's awesome. And final process of adding the battery bay and putting the legs on. Cool. Okay, that's the instructions. Hopefully, I covered it. If I missed something, you guys can always ask questions. Let's get to the parts bin. Yes, here we go. I'm going to bring this back down a little bit. Okay, so nicely packaged. Um, let's see, is it zip tied? Oh, look, it's a Ziploc. Nice. So we'll just unzip that. Again, I haven't been in this at all, so I have no idea what to expect. So far, I like how it's all laid out. Okay, here we are. All the components. Empty bag. Okay, we got our battery bay, three AA batteries. Not bad. It mounts to it, which is great. Uh, nice uh, made speaker here. You know, it's feature projects so you can hear what's going on. 
and they give you the hookup wire. They also mentioned that for the kit, you might want to have extra hookup wire. Definitely cool. So yeah, if you built your first kit, the Elenco practice kit, or one of the FM radios or AM radios on my channel, uh, this is a great follow-up kit um, to that because there's just mainly a lot of repetitive things because there's many keys. So let's look at the components first here. I'm just going to look through the plastic because <laughs> I don't open this up and lose anything. But it looks like over here, those are standoffs, okay. We have our resistors, different values. There's a diode there. The switches, ton of switches there, like I mentioned. Um, we're going to have 40 switches to solder. And when you solder a switch in, it's not just two connections. There's four on these little momentaries. If you can see the four different leads there on each switch. So you're going to have a lot of practice. Um, at least 39 times four. <laughs> and the main switch, I think, has a few more. Uh, here's some other tactile switches there. Um, here we have, that's the regular switch. I think it has six legs. Yes, it does. Capacitor in there. Some screws, mounting clips. So you get the idea. Electrical capacitor, disc capacitor. So there it is. All right, awesome. So let's get to the main PCB. And then we'll get to building this thing. I'm kind of excited about it. And they were excited about it too. They're like, yeah, you like our kit. I'm like, cool. So look at that. It's like a piano. It's really neat. Um, this is probably one of my most, uh, I don't know, I'm a little excited about building this because, yeah, I built the LEDs and I built little tiny radios and things, but this is just totally different. I love it. Um, on the PCB on the front here, you can see everything's marked really clearly on values of resistors. So if you get lost, you know, in the value of the capacitors, that's really nice that they did all that. Which way to orientate the LED, okay, um, diode orientation. So just really cool. I think the zero values are jumpers. Uh, for resistors, there you go. And then look, if you look at the switches here for your different uh, sounds piano, organ, violin, trumpet, mandolin, how oh, cool, bell, music box, guitar, sweet, and I think it has percussion. Yeah, over here, bass drum, snare drum, pedal, cymbal, nice. I don't see cowbell though. <laughs> That'd be awesome. More cowbell. <laughs> I don't think they'd get that, but uh, yeah, you guys get it. Uh, volume up and down. Uh, stop switch, I guess when you're playing back your music that you recorded, you got a record switch there and a replay. Okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, looks like an on off switch right there. Okay, and then you got your main keys for your notes. Um, all your main keys and semi, what are those semitones? <laughs> it's been a while since I studied music, but there it is in the back. Let's take a look at the back. Um, there's our ICs there. We got a couple soldered to the board. The main chip, let's get that in the focus. You guys can look that up if you're into knowing what that means and what it is. Pretty cool. Nicely done, by the way. And then there's a little audio amplifier. I see it clearly marked with, oh yeah, so it marked the, the product code right there in the white. Nice, so you can look those up. So look them up if you feel excited to. <laughs> uh, speaker pads, mounting screws, made in China, of course. But it uh, looks like it'll be really easy to make the connections. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to have fun building this one. Um, <laughs> in video time, it takes no time. But I'll be back with pictures of the build process. And then we'll demo this thing and see if we can make some music. <laughs> All right, guys. Back in a second. Here are pictures of the build process. For steps one through six, I populated the PCB with nine resistors, two disc capacitors, one tautalum capacitor, one electric lytic capacitor, note polarity, one signal diode, note orientation, one LED, note polarity, and one on-off switch, note orientation. For step seven, I added 39 momentary switches. Some pictures show the red switches on the second row. These go on the top row. The instructions are worded properly. Snap in all the switches, then begin soldering all the connections. This goes very quickly. For steps eight through 10, I installed the speaker, battery bay, and nylon standoffs. And going to the table, here's the finished product. This is an awesome kit, loving it. The VT-09 piano kit. Um, does quite a bit, uh, so we're gonna go over that, we're gonna demo this. Uh, first, let's go over some dimensions. I'd like to tell you this is seven inches across, five inches tall, and we have one inch in depth that includes these standoffs here, giving us room for the battery bay and speaker. Um, so yeah, there's our dimensions. We can kind of do a little size comparison. 
Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves piano kits from China land. <laughs> there you go, you get an idea for this deck of cards. Cool thing is, this thing is portable. <laughs> Battery power, take it anywhere you want, make music. Um, just a fun little, uh, after, you know, after you're done building it, you get this neat little product that everybody likes, wants to mess with. So uh, let's go over some of the things that I did. So on the front here, you can see the components, the first phase. There's the diode, the resistors. Uh, some capacitors there, the LED, um, latched, the latched switch, which is nice. It latches. Good to see that. Um, all the switches. So there's 39 momentaries. There's your red, black, and white. Now, like I said, the pictures, they show these red switches. In this row, um, they belong in the top row, as you can see. Um, that was actually pretty easy to snap these in and then I just kind of worked my way down soldering the legs It's a lot of experience here. This is the nice thing about this kit is that when you solder these in you got all those connection points Think of it like you're soldering in 80 LEDs. It's pretty much what it equals to so yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome uh, I'm trying to think what the hardest part of this kit was what was the hardest part of the kit? Okay, so I had a couple of things the switches um, some of the legs were bent and if you don't bend them quite the right direction they won't snap in nicely so that's something to watch for um just kind of match it to an existing switch where the legs aren't bent and then you'll be able to uh, know which way they go in and snaps in nicely that's the one issue i had um, with the kit otherwise no big deal the speaker goes in nicely has retention clips like in that uh, these surface mount chips are already installed as i think you saw before uh, the battery bay has some nylon standoffs as you can see there so that gives room for the wire to pass underneath Little solder, uh, solder points there underneath. I like that. Cool setup. I had to use some alkaline batteries because the battery holder is pretty snug. <clears throat> Didn't like my nickel metal hydrides too much, so I had to put those in. But I'm sure that would work fine too. So let's go ahead and demo this. As you can see, it has uh, switch 1 through switch 15. These are your notes. Okay, and they actually have them labeled C3, C4. Okay, so there's your all your major notes there. Pretty neat. Um, we have up here, it says switch, We've got bass drum, snare drum. I told you about that on the, uh, in the beginning we're looking at the PCB, but I was like, hey, no cowbell. Well, there's a cowbell. <laughs> um, they didn't mention it in any documentation. It might be in the PDF file. I didn't look at it, but the PDF file will help you. But if you hit this button, there's a cowbell and I'll show it to you. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the demo all mode, there's a bunch of songs stored, which is cool. I'll show those to you too. Tempo, you can control how fast it plays back. Nicely. Uh, volume. Volume's interesting. The lowest setting is kind of loud still. Um, and don't even, yeah, a couple steps up and it's too loud. So just letting you know. <laughs> You'll hear that. Uh, so here's our different instruments. We got piano, organ, violin, trumpet. These all sound really neat. And we're going to get going on that record feature. I forget how long, how many notes it records, but it's a, a short little sequence of notes. Got a replay, of course. Um, I believe this on switch works with a playback of a demo song. It's I don't use it too much, but uh, when you build your kit, you can explore. <laughs> and it stops your uh, playback of your demos. So let's turn it on and let's hear what it sounds like. So there's our bright LED. <laughs> it's a bright little LED jamming. Um, so right now it's a little too loud. So we're going to turn it down. It does beep confirmation. I wish it didn't have that, uh, but I guess for volume that works. But for everything else, it shouldn't need it. But some things... When you change, um, it's indicating that you've changed. I wish it, again, it's a musical instrument. It'd be nice if that beep wasn't there. I'm sure Vulgar Time is watching this, and they're probably like, okay, we can make that change. So, okay, let's go out to the notes. Uh, piano. So. The neat thing is it's polyphony. So you can play like little chords. That's kind of cool, right? I didn't even know. I figured it'd be like, you know, single note monophonic, but uh, it, is, it does have the uh, multi-note. Loving it. Now with the piano, you'll notice when you tap it, strikes and ends fast. So your attack, and it decays quickly. And then if you press and hold, it has like a mini sustain and it decays. It's pretty nice for the piano. I like that. Um, I'm not much of a music maker here. Oops. Yeah, I made my first song. <laughs> or second. <laughs> no, I'm just having fun. Um, so yeah, so you, got, you got that. Now the organ. And 
And it has chords too. I believe this one um, holds infinite. DK runs, yeah, and you can just stay running. That's pretty nice. Violin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we get it. Uh, trumpet. Trumpet's pretty cool. Mandolin. Okay, we got a bell. Yeah, rhythm, rhythm totterbird. <laughs> uh, music box. Okay, you get the idea there, and then a guitar. Okay, yeah, I'm just having fun here. <laughs> this is what's fun about when you're done, you get this cool project you can have fun with. Now, you, had, you got a lot of practice, so you can build your radios. Yep, don't forget, the reason why I do making waves and doing these kits is you can build this. You can build a Texan 2P3, which I recommend too. You can build the Elenco radio kits. So it gives you some uh, experience and a cool gift too, and it, or fun little project for yourself. Um, so yeah, it has record. So if you press record, you can uh, let's first uh, hold on, stop that. Short on piano, record. We'll just and then stop and replay. Okay, so it doesn't record chords. First thing I noticed. Okay, so let's uh, do a little different. We'll record. Okay, and then we'll stop replay. Okay, worked out pretty good. Uh, pretty simple sampler there, a uh, little sequencer. It's uh, pretty basic. Um, I noticed the tempo did not work on the playback there. It only works on the playback of the demo songs, which we'll get to. Let's do the percussion. Now, percussion does not record percussion, unfortunately. I wish it would because you have a little beatbox. We got bass drum. And you got uh, snare drum. Get it. Um, hi hat. Uh, symbol. And then if you hit this switch, you're gonna get some other sounds. Clap. Cowbell. <laughs> Loving that. <laughs> More cowbell. I love it. Closed hi hat. So there you go, you got yourself that. Now this program, I couldn't figure out what that could do, but that's all right. Uh, so here's our demo. Uh, so here's play a song. Okay, so you get the idea. <laughs> Just lots of fun. Um, enjoyed building this kit. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Uh, we'll do some final thoughts on the Voker Time VT09. Yeah, it's a, a fun little kit. A uh, lot of practice with soldering uh, because you have all those connection points for these switches. Uh, recognizing components, um, being able to read the resistor values there. If you uh, can't figure them out, look them up on the internet or look at their PDF file. They have a, a color resistor code chart. You can figure out what value they are so you know which ones you're putting where. 
but they mark it. They park, mark the board very clearly. Everything's marked really nice. Everything goes together really good with their kits. And again, their English instructions uh, are pretty good. Uh, you're not going to get lost at all. And this is all I needed to build this kit. Um, just a really neat setup. But uh, yeah, the music part of it is really amazing. If you really want to explore deeper than I showed you, by all means. Like I said, when it had the multi-note polyphony there, I thought that was neat, where you could play more than one note. And then some of the uh, sustain feature and attack and delay on some of the instruments. I thought that was neat too. They did a great job. So, you know, for 20 bucks, uh, I think what I pay, $23. And then it has a coupon sometimes, so watch for a 10% off coupon. You might get yourself a really nice deal and have fun building it. And uh, yeah, like it's not too hard, and all you need is three AA batteries, and you're good to go. And I'm sure you guys got three AA batteries somewhere. So there it is. Uh, it gets a recommended buy, yes, because it's unique, different. I've seen the piano kits where they're really tiny, um, and uh, they have a little tiny speaker. They look kind of cheap. This looks pretty cool. Looks like a piano. <laughs> I'm the piano man. <laughs> I just like the shape. It's it's neat. Uh, for the future, I hope that Vulgar Time expands on making these little musical instrument do-it-yourself kits. Maybe they add a better sequencer. They add a drum uh, kit where you can record the drum sounds. And then maybe they'll do uh, your flats and sharps here instead of the mode buttons, um, like a traditional keyboard. That would be really cool. So just something to think about Vulgar Time. VT09A or B. Yeah, probably B. <laughs> One of those two. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoy do-it-yourself kits, Vulgar Time kits like this, you want to see more reviews, build, and then uh, demos, uh, hit the subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future Making Way videos. Um, if you like this kit, be sure to comment below and tell me what you think, uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Um, just feedback is good in general. Um, so yeah, definitely liking this. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.